I'm WY6Y. Today we're going to make a remote Wi-Fi operated HF ham radio antenna switch from a Raspberry Pi. Boy, this is the third iteration and it's working better than I expected it to. Um, I know it looks like a mess of spaghetti in there, but there is a method to the madness. I Originally, when I first uh, built this, I used a little red clamshell case I got at Ace Hardware and uh, I just used plain unshielded wire and uh, it didn't all fit very well in there. And the unshielded wire was giving me high SWR. So I revised it and uh, I made this board and I was using, uh, let's see, what is this, RG, I think this is RG400. And uh, man, it just was super ugly and it wasn't working well. I did have better SWR, but I did not like the look of that. I'm new to tinkering with electronics like this and uh, so I'm learning as I go <laughs> as you can see so what I ended up doing is I got some RG316 and I use these SMA connectors um, got an SMA female to female going into a bulkhead and that's bonded to this right here this bulkhead and then the idea was uh, I'm going to mount this in my single point ground box outside. Um, I'd, I'd like to do that today, but it's raining. So I'm going to go just test it in the shack for now until I can get it mounted uh, in my weatherproof box outside, my single point ground box. But everything's working. I wanted to share a little bit about the different components on here. Um, this is just a piece of uh, angled aluminum that I drilled holes through with SO239s, then I've got uh, from the RG, uh, SO239s, I've got the RG316, and that goes to the comms on relays one through three, that's the one in the middle, the screw in the middle, and from there, um, those comms come out through a normally open port on relays one through three, those meet up here in this junction, this beautiful junction I made from these SMA connectors. 
And then that all goes into the COM on um, relay four. And then relay four is normally open, goes to the shack SO239 right here. And then we have uh, on all the normally closed, I've got, um, it's just a ground that grounds here. And then that goes out to the single point ground. And that's pretty much it. Um, this is a Raspberry Pi Zero with a Pi hat on top, uh, just a breakout board to make things a little bit easier to, to uh, wire up. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Probably spent about 50, 50 bucks on this project, maybe just a little bit more for the, the Pi, but uh, yeah, those are all the parts. Uh, it uses a web interface to uh, switch uh, between the different relays. And I'll demonstrate right now. There's relay one and two, three. And here's what I'm calling storm mode, but basically it just grounds all the centers from um, all the different relays. And it has this really cool little neat uh, web interface that I made. This is all on a Raspberry Pi Zero switching. You can hear it clicking. And let's check out, uh, I've got it hooked up to a dummy load right now. And uh, as you can see on uh, 10, uh, yeah, this is on 10 meters. The SDWR is a little bit high, uh, 1.6 to 1. But uh, compared to the way it was with the unshielded wire, where it was about 3.5 to 1, uh, that's definitely an improvement. Um, I'm gonna keep working on this and keep, uh, oh no, it's at 1 point, yeah, 1 1.6 or 7 to 1. I'm gonna keep working on this. I'm gonna keep improving this design. Uh, this is the first time I've ever worked with a Raspberry Pi or relays or really done much soldering. So it's been a learning experience, but it has been a lot of fun. And uh, it's all working now, so I'm going to go plug it into the shack and try it out. I want a Wi-Fi operated HF antenna switch because 99% of the time when I'm operating, I am operating remotely via VNC. I could be at work, I could be at the airport, I could be on an airplane doing FT8, Vera C, PSK31. I like to do these things everywhere I go. And the ability to switch antennas and shut down the whole system really appeals to me. So I have three antennas that I want to control. I have my infed half wave, I have my doublet, and I sometimes have a, um, it's a 200, I think a 213 inch whip with a loading coil that I uh, like to put in the yard and use as a vertical. But uh, I wanted to be able to you know, switch between them instantly and have less um, coax coming into the shack and, you know, just be able to switch between things easily without a whole lot of fuss. So that's the whole idea behind the antenna switch for me. And also um, being able to ground the centers. I don't think that really buys me any lightning protection, but uh, it can't hurt. So anyways, um, that's what I've been working on that for. And uh, I'm going to show you my antennas now. So antenna one is my uh, 110 foot doublet. Uh, I've got it going into a remote tuner right there, which I have solar powered. That's the MFJ 994 BRT. And it is going up into the top of this tree right there. So that is antenna one, the doublet, 110 feet long, fed with 300 ohm ladder line. And then the second antenna is my infed half wave. It's up about, I don't know, that might be close to 50 feet or so. And that feeds all down right over to there into my single point ground box. All right, I've got the um, Raspberry Pi switch hooked up now to the rig to my uh, Yaesu FT-DX10 
and I'm running win for yesu for rig control here on my little cheap PC and I've got it uh, bonded to the ground bus there and uh, forgive the mess I'm just trying to make it work as best I can uh, kind of ad hoc here but um, we're gonna go ahead and try it out and uh, let's see I've got it everything is grounded right now that's the default state so let's turn up the volume a little bit I've got it on um, oh let's go down to FT8 frequency and there will certainly be something on FT8 20 meters right now there's nothing but but as soon as I flip this switch I'm hoping we hear something let's see Oh, there it is. We got an antenna switch. Let's switch to the other antenna. Hear how it sounds. Okay, so we're gonna switch to the uh, infed. It's actually a little brighter. And if I go to aux, which nothing's connected to aux, just a little bit storm mode, everything's grounded. All right, all right. So let's listen to the difference between the infed half wave and the. Uh, actually, it's not an infed half wave. It's a long wire antenna. It's the N MCOM 3B. So that we're on the MCOM 3B right now, and find a clear spot here. We won't jump on anybody, and we'll reduce power. Just want to see what the SWR is looking like. SWR is perfect. Perfect. All right. So let's go over here to the doublet. Now we're on the doublet. Sounds about the same. Let's see what our SWR is. I've got it tuned up on the remote tuner. Turn off the internal tuner and let's see about one to five that's about normal so I'm not getting any bad uh, SWR from the switch itself which is great it's exactly what I wanted so it appears to be working uh, just as I'd hoped for awesome so it turns out this puppy works uh, it doesn't just work it works pretty good and I only had to do it, I only had to build it three times to get it to work the way I wanted it to. Uh, I did blow up a, um, a relay module. Uh, well, I shorted it out. It didn't actually explode, but uh, I was pretty upset about that. Um, I had a high SWR on the first build uh, because I was using unshielded wire. The second build, I was using RG400 and it was just way too clunky. Uh, for those tight bends and so I ended up uh, with the RG316 and that worked great. Um, I learned how to solder SMA connectors onto RG400 and RG316. It's the first time I've done that and that was uh, easy by the time I got done doing it. I got much better at soldering uh, all in all throughout the process of this build. Um, I started using flux. Um, I actually destroyed a Raspberry Pi trying to uh, solder on the uh, pin headers onto that. Uh, it was a Raspberry Pi Zero. Luckily it's just a little $20 computer, but it was a learning experience. So um, I learned more about using solder <laughs> and flux uh, to make it work. So all in all, I'm happy with how it turned out. Um, it's nice to be able to switch between antennas and have a third port for an auxiliary antenna if I want to put something else out in the yard. So the next step will be to get it into the single point, single point ground box outside, clean up the rest of this mess in here. And I've got some ideas of some node red integrations that I'm going to build into uh, the server that hosts the um, switch interface. And that will be coming soon. But I've been playing around with node red it's very interesting. 
um, using that to incorporate rig control, um, other automations. Uh, I mean, the, the possibilities are limitless with Node-RED. So that will be the next iteration. Probably mm, might be building another one of these switches, maybe in a cleaner box. This is a prototype. I had to, I had to figure out how to do this as I was doing it. Never written Python script before, figured that out. There was a lot of stuff that I learned in the last month while I've been building this thing. And I am just really, really happy now that it actually works. I'm on the air with it. I'm with monitoring um, 20 meter of uh, RSC calling frequency right now. It's cool. Just switch between one antenna to the other instantly. It's really fun. So it goes back to what I've always said. Don't give up. You will screw up learn from your mistakes, go make some more, just keep going. Don't give up. Anyways, 73, thanks for watching. This is WY6Y. I'll be clear.